Check out me and my donkey. Welcome back to my channel. I am in a new location and this time it is Morocco. We landed in Marrakesh about three hours ago and we drove straight to Agafai. It's only like 30 to 40 minute drive from Marrakesh and they've started putting up all these little like um, glamping and like desert vibe hotels. We're starting off here for two days then we're gonna go around Marrakesh for like four to five days. So join me on my touring. We just checked into our hotel and it is so cute. I have to show you. So here it is. I'm gonna give you a little room tour. This is our tent. They have this little like nice seating area. So here we go. This is our room. It's actually a double room, so I think like if you're with three people, someone else could sit sleep there, or if you're with a kid, there's a little fireplace. Like how adorable is that for winter time? And I like these little poofs. There's an AC and it's like a little safe. We were saying someone could just run off with it. And they even have electricity, so you can charge your equipment. But I just love this. It's huge, really like so much bigger and nicer than I expected. And this is our bathroom with our like outdoor shower. <laughs> so here is our little rocky path to dinner. So it's dinner time now. I didn't film uh, during the day anymore because I was just chilling with Ben. We were having some quality time together and also it was raining so I didn't want to bring out my camera. Um, but it was like a little tropical storm. We still enjoyed the pool. It was warm. The pool is so pretty. I'm going to show you tomorrow. Then we had lunch. They made some grill. They had a barbecue out and it was really good. Um, and then we played Uno, we napped, and yeah, that was basically our day. And now we're going for dinner. <laughs> So it's day two, we just had our breakfast. We went to sleep super early last night. The vibe was really cute. Our dinner was nice. They started playing music and then it got really lively in the end. We were like, what's going on? It's like a party in the tent, but we just went to sleep at like 10 o'clock. Then we missed the sunrise, but we needed the sleep. And then we came to the pool. It was so quiet and beautiful. It's really serene, this hotel actually. It's like, it's a small one, um, but it was a cute find. Like it's all kind of just couples and there's like a few tents. So it's like really quiet and everyone goes off and does their own thing. So the pool isn't even busy. Anyways, breakfast was nice. It was just like the Moroccan breads and cheese and omelette and things like that. And now we took a refreshing dip. The pool is so cold, but it's really nice because today is sunny, as you can see um, from the blue skies. So we're just chilling here. We both have our books. Our books for the trip are these two. So we have Atomic Habits, which I actually started um, the other day like last week or something but I'm gonna try to finish it on this trip my brother recommended it and I've actually been wanting to read it for ages and then this um, so essentialism because I'm an overthinker but Ben started reading it and he said it's really good so look how serene it is so cute Just chilling here, reading my book, and look at this donkey. Check out me and my donkey. Literally just chilling here, and the herder came. 
they just called us over because our lunch is ready. So you order in advance what you want. It's either a tagine or the grill. I'll show you the barbecue in a second. And then they give you a little salad. So these are like the salads we had at dinner as well, like aubergine and tomato and peppers, the yummy bread. And this is our view. Kebab, mergas, and chicken, all from the barbecue. Wow. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. Well, it's actually already seven o'clock, so the sunrise rises super late here, which Ben is happy about because, whoops, the last time I would come up for sunrise, it was 4.30 in Bereshit here. You should watch that vlog afterwards. It was one of the most breathtaking things I've ever seen in my life. And it was really, like, I think I even teared up. I just, it was so beautiful. It was over a crater in Israel. And you saw the sunrise come up. But now we woke up. It smells a bit like camel dung. And we're waiting to see the sunrise. But it's uh, already 7 a.m. So technically it's an okay time to ri rise. Ben <laughs> found himself another blanket. We were hoping we open this all up to hope to see the sunrise from bed, but it's gonna rise like right in our blind spot. So he found himself a blanket and it's ready. I'm so excited. I love watching the sunrise. had breakfast now we're at the pool and we're, we were playing Uno and we have this like deck my deck has um, these like cards where it says like shuffle hands or like you can write your own rules and I had one card left and I gave I told Ben to pick up eight because he put plus four I put plus four by the way comment down below if that's a rule that's allowed anyways and then he had a whole hand of cards I had one and then he had the shuffle hand so I had to give him my deck Anyways, now he feels on top of the world, but it's okay, I let him win. <laughs> so we've just checked out, we're staying by the pool, we're gonna have lunch. We've ordered our lunch, we're gonna have one vegetarian tagine today just to try, and we're having one more beef tagine, because yesterday the beef tagine was insane! It was so succulent and soft, it just fell apart, and the sauce was delicious. <laughs> you can open a book. <laughs> At least I'm not getting hot. Okay, now we're ready. We've been waiting. It's way past their drinking time. But look at them. It's super... I don't know. I feel like this is a movie. I don't know if you can see this. But you see them in the distance and the dust coming up. And they're all coming in a big herd ready to drink. You can imagine the dramatic music now. And guess what, guys? I packed up some bread for breakfast. So I'm going to feed the goats. She's like, how do I eat this fast enough? <laughs> Hey guys, so we left the desert and I didn't really vlog much more today. We had a super big lunch again. Their menu kept surprising us. They kept bringing out with new things and we enjoyed so much of it. But I was in a major food coma. Also, it was a much hotter day today, so I was dying. But we played our Uno, we saw the goats again and we had a great last few hours. They also let us stay as long as we wanted, but we thought it was a good time to check into our next hotel at around 4.30. So now it's the afternoon and we've just arrived in Marrakesh and I am obsessed with the Riyadh we're staying in so I'm gonna give you a little room tour so yes I know look at this look how aesthetic the entrance is I'll show you better later then you come upstairs and this is these are all the rooms and this is our room so here we go look how cute so here's our little like window bits and you see out 
the shower like how cute and aesthetic is this it's small but like i mean it's really all you need our wardrobe look how cute this is the name of the hotel by the way they give you a little basket bag i just love all the details here they brought us some nuts and then this is the bathroom like you can really tell all the features are new this is my little outfit and i've i'm obsessed this is not sponsored by the way i just think it's so pretty and we asked him and they said they uh, started building in 2018 and then stopped because of covid so it's the first year it's open so i presume that's why the reason for the affordability and also how everything is so new and clean by the way just a fun fact riads are actually the old um traditional houses in marrakesh and it's their houses that had no windows so it kept out the heat and also kept it private so you're supposed to have like your own little outdoor indoor area because they all have a sunroof so it lets in the natural light and obviously some breeze so that's that they also have a little terrace so that's where we're gonna have breakfast in the morning but i'll show you that tomorrow morning when we eat okay i'm ready for dinner we're gonna go out for our first night but i'm now downstairs in the lobby and i'm gonna show you how cute and aesthetic this is look at this place okay so look at this i just love these tiles by the way it's so nice and all the wooden accents the table I love all these vases and then there's a big mirror at the back yeah. now we've come outside of the Medina walls so this is the wall that goes all around the Medina which is the old town of Marrakesh and the Riyads are all inside so uh, and that's where the souk and jama fna is and things like that but our restaurant is in the new part of Marrakesh which is called Gaviz Gaviz I will write it down because I can't pronounce it properly so we are at our restaurant and it is so pretty we decided to go to well I'm surprised Ben with this Italian restaurant for this evening just because we have been having uh, Moroccan food like for the lunch and dinner for the past two days so we decided to have a little break and then tomorrow we have one of the most famous Moroccan restaurants in Marrakesh and then the day after as well so the menu looks really good we're gonna have some pasta and things like that and I'll show you the food but I love the pool look how pretty had our dinner and we actually really really enjoyed it and uh, it was a good vibe wasn't it like the service was really nice the food was nice everything and now we asked them to drop us off at Jama Fna, which is the night market it's really famous well it's actually the square but they have a night market it is packed it is I think it's like 10 15 right now we left the restaurant at 10 o'clock so it must be like 10 15 and it is heaving it's just like full of life we asked them is it like safe to go now and they're like yeah it's just it's what people do at in the evening they just come here and it's open until it's 20 I think online it's at 4 a.m. the people said it's open all night like until whatever time of the morning so yeah and there's just food stalls jewelry stalls and we're gonna show you around and apparently there's like snakes and things so let's see they need to, think, to put the things on the ring. Careful. They're really the Arabian king, huh?
So look at our breakfast. It actually smells so good. We have our um, typical Moroccan homemade bread breads and now they gave us a crepe as well which is so nice and I love all these little pots like the mini tagine pots and the details here at breakfast are so beautiful. The green and the black it's really just aesthetic gold. So we have fig jam, a strawberry jam, honey and little fruit salad. They said all these jams are homemade and just like wow. It's so stunning. We closed it because of the sun, but wow. We're gonna eat now and then I'm gonna give you a little story time of what happened yesterday at the market, but it was interesting experience. Oh, I really got a tan in the desert. Anyways, and then we have a little, we're going to Jardin Majorelle later, and then we have a spa day, so stay tuned. <laughs> So we just arrived at Jardin Majorel. We didn't buy tickets in advance because I had a problem with the online payment, but we just came. The line looked really long, but it went by in like literally five minutes. We were just standing there. They have these like spritzer air things and it's cute. The museum is unfortunately closed, the Yves Saint Laurent Museum, because um, it's just under maintenance for a month. Also, just a heads up, students get like 50% off of the price. So usually it's 120 for a ticket, but we got it for 60 each. So just bring your students ID. So the garden Jardin Majorelle belonged to Jacques Majorelle who is an artist and he just loved collecting plants so he brought plants from like all his travels and started planting it and it created a huge garden and he had his like artist workshop here. It's amazing actually how cool plants keep you like we were sweating outside and now we're just if there's a bit of a breeze really nice. Get yourself a guy who carries your bag for you. <laughs> so that's the blue Berber house in the distance, or I mean the museum dedicated to Berber artists. And look at all the cacti, I just think that's so impressive. These giant cacti. I love all these YSL prints. This was definitely your favorite part of the garden, see so Ben is enjoying it so much. Because there's loads of little turtles and frogs and you see the turtles swimming around and then there's also the lily pods and it's quite a busy picture spot though. Hi guys, I just had the best spa experience of my life. I obviously didn't film during the like until treatment, but uh, Ben and I had like a couples uh, thing and I found this spa online. Like I did quite a lot of research, but this place is only for women or couples. And the whole thing was so fantastic. Like I just couldn't recommend it enough. Um, I, so we had, like first a hammam and then they did the whole black soap scrub which they scrub off of all your dead skin then your whole body mas mask and um, then we had the sauna and we could just relax and then uh, we they sat us down in that like space I showed you which has the waterfall and everything and then they gave us tea and cookies a foot massage then they let us choose the oils we wanted so like orange argan whatever and then we got a one hour a whole full body massage it was amazing and also it is really affordable like you could not get anywhere near this in Europe so highly recommend we just got a cab to Jamal Nah. And yes, we're back. I still need to tell you the story basically. Like I think we left at around 12.30 or 1 a.m. Uh, so definitely don't stay out that late, but we didn't even realize how late it was. And then we were walking back towards our Riyadh because it was only like seven minutes 
away and then this guy with his monkey in the background but yeah now we're back we came to see the snakes because they're not there at night the snakes are banned after 6 p.m. and it's such a different vibe look how empty it is recommended restaurant from all of Ben's friends and family so it's like the typical um, Moroccan cuisine and they're famous for their tagine and they have experience set menus so we've chosen the Dama experience and then you can choose the uh, three courses and then they have live shows and music and things like that so I'm excited <laughs> Today is another day in Marrakesh. It's day three and we are going to do some more sightseeing. Sorry, by the way, I haven't really been able to vlog because they are very strict and like just don't like the camera here. Yesterday when we were in ja unless you pay. So that's the problem. Yesterday in Jamal Now we had another crazy experience. Like you just really have to be careful here because we went to see the snakes and stuff, which was really sad actually. They just look really drugged and I don't know what. And the monkeys are in cages and they really are like badly be like treated um, but yeah so then we went Ben wanted to kind of see the snakes and then we saw that like we were just trying to look from afar and some tourists like a backpacker was filming them from like a distance and this guy like ran after her and because she kept walking he actually threw the snake and I also had like an interesting experience with the juice place but yeah I'm going to make a video of like just things you need to be cautious of, of when you're here so go check that out after this if you are planning a trip to Marrakesh just to, things to be aware of but when we were leaving the market we realized there's so much more and there's a whole like really nice place with carpets and like household things so I want to go there to see if we can get some homeware also we want to get some scent things so we're going Going back to the market we're also going to the secret garden and yeah so this is my outfit for today and I'm looking forward to seeing more so when we leave our Riyadh we have to go through all these paths and then there's this bakery so we literally the first day we found our uh, Riyadh again because of the smell of the bakery anyways this is the Medina vibes with the donkeys going around everywhere and motorbikes But there's also, we found this area of the souk which also has these um, homeware actual stores. Look at this bath. Guys, this place is so cute. Look at all these ceramics. I love them. Like this place is so beautiful. Maybe you are the first customer. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> Look at the Louis Vuitton motorbike cover. We keep seeing that everywhere here. On the way to Jama Afna, we found yesterday this square and it has loads of more of these handcrafty things like the bags and stuff. So we found it again today and the spices. So they can stitch whatever name and stuff you want in your bag or on your hat. 
Ben is in love with his purchase from his first day. He realizes how easy it is to be a girl now and to just put on a dress. He was like, look, and he just put it on. In one second, I put on fully dressed. Snails seem to be a national dish here because in all there's loads of market stalls where people just sit on a little stool and start eating snails. We're just walking around and then we saw that we ended up at Bahia Palace. We just met a tour group outside and asked them if it's worth it going in because it's a 70 dirham entrance and they don't have a student fee. But they said it was really worth it and it's huge. It said that it has 5 hectares of gardens and 3100 square meter of building. Um, and it's just a palace that was built uh, by a wealthy family and then passed on between royals and a French minister. Even the ceiling is so impressive. Look how impressive this is. It's just carved into the stone. Guys, I wish you could smell this. It's just piles of mint. It smells delicious. Look at all the olives. Wow. Look at our Nutella crepe with some chocolate on top and we got an orangina and another bottle of water. We've actually been drinking so much water here, which is good. We keep buying these large bottles. I think we've drank two already today. And we stopped off at another little rooftop terrace so you can see the market down there. Uh, and we're just having a dessert and recalibrating, seeing what we want to do. We did quite a bit of shopping now. We got our Berber tea and everything. If I live in Morocco, I would buy. No problem. We live in here, can you buy it? Yeah. So I just show you a clip of what he started with, the tree like a rod, a wooden like rod. And then he made me this as a gift. Look how good this is. And the ring on the inside is loose. Like how crazy is that? Look. Yes, you can. Very famous. I love this shop. Look how pretty. Have, uh, what is the name of the shop? Uh, we walked past this shop the other day called Bohemia and I saw this beautiful dress which is now my purchase in that bag and it was hanging here like isn't this the perfect way to just display a dress because everyone walks past here to go into the Medina and they've opened a door and it just flows because the wind the draft comes so it's just so beautiful anyways so now they've replaced it with a blue dress but I got my pink and orange dress Okay, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the things we got. So we got these incense, uh, we got two each. I got this little uh, box thing that with black and gold because I love the black and gold details and I'm gonna redo my room at home. Um, then I got my brother this because he wanted a white beaded bracelet. This mirror, it's also small, I would think, because I really like the how they've done it here. So I want to kind of, not recreate it, but kind of. Then I got a silk pashmina, which is very good quality actually. And uh, this is the famous dress. I'm probably going to wear it tonight. I'm really excited. I just love it so much. Then we got two bags of tea, one each. This is the royal Berber tea. Then I got like a vase 
and we got two, um, one each of these like incense burning things where we can put the oil in. Last night we went to Dar Sharifa. It was actually really nice, but I didn't bring my camera because I didn't want to carry it again through the Medina in the evening just because of the scare we had the other night. And because we, it was in the Medina, we couldn't take a taxi or anything, so we had to walk. It was only seven minutes from our Riyadh, but it was definitely, there was a bit of a sketchy part and we were like, oh, and we almost got scammed again like twice. But now we know, do not listen to anyone that pretends there's a closed gate. Anyways, now we decided to take a pool pass for today because we were gonna go to the Eureka Valley but we've decided to do that tomorrow and today we're gonna chill a bit because it's a bluer sky today than yesterday so it's just like a nice relaxing day we decided to um, get a pool pass for Tigmiza hotel we wanted to go to Palais Rule because it was also recommended to us but then it was fully booked so just make sure even for like pool access passes to like book them in advance because the hotels do become full or they probably set a limit um, and all hotels seem to do it like literally the smaller ones the bigger ones and so if you want to decide to go to the Mandarin Oriental or Mamunia for a day just to chill you can do that as well but we thought to come here and it's really cute the entrance is so beautiful and it's just it's a palace in the Palmeret area so if you want to go potting and camel riding it's also nice and um, it's quite affordable. It's an access pass including lunch for 39 euro per person. So if you spend a whole day and then you get your um, start to your main and dessert included. They don't give you a choice on the menu, but so it says, so we got a starter, a mozzarella and tomato salad, and then the drinks aren't included, so we ordered some virgin mojitos. Guys, look how big this grill they gave us is. So we have lamb chops, some akafta chicken, and little merguez with chips. Good morning guys, this is our breakfast today. They usually always give us this one and then they change up the other two. So this morning we have one of these breads instead of the Moroccan style pancakes and then some toasted baguette slices. So yesterday they gave us like banana and yogurt, the other day a fruit salad, now we're getting some grapes and also some scrambled eggs are on the way. I look very tanned in this lighting. I must have really gotten some color yesterday at our pool day. Last night we just stayed up here, as you saw, with our laptop watching a movie and had some tea and it was really nice because we were quite tired and we decided we didn't, we weren't actually hungry enough to go out for dinner. So although we went out, we walked back and then we just chilled. So guys, this is the terrace of our Riyadh and this is where we were chilling last night. And it's really cute with the cacti and this is the roof as you can see that goes down. They don't have a pool but that's the breakfast and dinner area and they said they have a shower in case you get hot if you want to chill out here in town. So it's really nice and I love how they have hats with the name of the hotel on it and also these giant aesthetic cool hats you know if you want a little photo shoot. We are driving into the Atlas Mountains now and it's about our two hour drive from Marrakesh to the Eureka Valley, which is where the um, there's old Berber villages and they have also I think seven uh, waterfalls. So we're going to hike around, see the um, Berber houses, have lunch there and just see what the, the Eureka Valley has to offer. I have my sports 
und so. We just arrived and there's loads of tour groups. Our driver stopped and got us a tour guide um, because it's safer to do this with a guide, obviously. Also, there's no real path. Like, we're just walking behind the restaurants. And I'm not gonna talk much more because I'm tired already. <laughs> but let's go see what these waterfalls are like. This is the first waterfall, which is obviously crowded. And he said if we just walk another five mi minutes, um, we'll see a giant one that has a great panoramic view. They're not joking though when they say it's a hike because I'm sweating. Luckily it's in the shade and it's quite breezy because of the waterfall and because we're in the high atlas but wow how many it's 3200 meters by the waterfall and look we started over there and this last bit as you can see you really have to climb up the rocks um so wear clothes shoes and sporty outfits The hike wasn't bad at all, like I read a lot of reviews and they said oh like you really need to have long, uh, good shoes, it's an hour walk or something. I think we did it in like 25 minutes. Uh, you do need closed shoes though because it's quite a climb uh, rather than just a casual walk. But it was nice and it was quite windy and fresh. He does say that, that in the summer there's a lot of accidents because it becomes too busy so it's good that we came in September. So now we've stopped off for some lunch. It's literally a bit further down because our tour guide decided, or sorry, our driver decided to bring us to this other spot instead. It's a bit calmer. It's also like one of those touristy restaurants, but it's a lot cuter because it's a bit hidden. And it's so nice. We're sitting right here. So it seems that everywhere it does these like menus. So it's 120, uh, 12 euro for, uh, per person for a starter, main and dessert. And it's the usual tagine and things like that. So I'm excited. It's our last dinner in Marrakesh and we're going to Buddha Bar. So come, let's have dinner. We got a green curry with some uh, normal rice and then fried rice on the side. this vlog i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and of course press that subscribe button to be notified for future uploads for my next travel and lifestyle vlogs